Hello the Raps by viewers, my name's Peter and I've got a hands-on video for you. This time it is with Puzzle to the Center of the Earth. So this is a free-to-play game and it's coming out of Forsaken Media and it's kind of a combination of a roguelike with a match three. So kind of like Spelunky meets Bejeweled, I suppose you might say. So what I'm doing is matching up these different colored blocks. Um, if you're colorblind, as a side note, uh, you can get little symbols put on them as well, which is a nice little addition. But you've got to match at least three of them and then they explode. This actually uses up energy, which you'll see at the top of the screen. I've got 15 left. And it allows me to dig deeper, basically. And if I can dig all the way to the end, like so, then I complete the level. So I made it, fantastic. So let's go back to the uh, home screen. Everything loads up beautifully, runs smooth. I'm only five levels in, that sort of thing. But I wanted to kind of bring you a quick, quick look at this thing. So let's go to level four. And here we are, we get plonked on here. So you'll see at the bottom of the screen there's a rectangle. Uh, this is used to move around, so I can move left and right, and if I flick up, then I can jump. And I can also clamber over things. I think I can clamber up to two blocks high, uh, certainly at the moment. There's additional items you can purchase and that sort of thing to, to make you even better, and you can do upgrades and such, but uh, like I say, I'm, I'm quite early into the game. So the whole idea is to get to the bottom of the screen, um, but like I say, you've only got a certain amount of energy. Uh, so you've got to be really careful with what you do, because if you match something, then that's going to take a point of energy. And if you swipe down on a block, like so, that also takes a you know a, a, a bit of energy. But that might be useful because it means that you can then match these things up. Like I say, you can only match up to six in one go, and uh, that's that's fine. You know, uh, and if you can match six of them, then you'll get. Uh, like an energy token which allows you to do a special move. And let me show you one of these special moves right now. Uh, so they're a formula. So the formula for explosive is blue plus red plus green. So if we can find a blue plus red plus green, let's have a look here. Blue plus red plus green. There we are. And boom. Now I've taken a little bit of damage because obviously I was in the middle of an explosion and that's probably not a good thing. Um, and it's depleted one of my red little lightning symbols as well. But you know, you can see how that might, uh, that sort of a move might come in useful. Uh, so there we are, I've collected another, I can do that again if I so desire. Um, and I do so desire, so I think what I'm going to do is get out of the way slightly blue, then red, then green, and kaboom! You can see, you know, that's a huge swathe. So there are these green shards as well, and that gives you more energy, so that you can keep digging. Uh, can I do another one? I think I can actually. Blue, then red, then green. Uh, get out of the way there. There we are. And uh, if I'm not 100% sure as to where I want to go next, I just tap and hold on my character, and then I can actually move the screen around like such. I can look, uh, you know, I can I can look a certain certain distance. I can figure out where it is that I want to be going next. So it's a bit like Spelunky meets Bejeweled, as I say, and um, I think that that's a, a, a kind of cracking combination really. When I first saw this on our uh, on our uh, account, we have a, a, a joint account, AppSpine Pocket Gamer, and uh, when I first saw it I thought, mm, puzzle game, yeah, not, not, not really my cup of tea, but I'm, I've been blown away by this actually, it's really, really classy. Um, let's do another one of those. Uh, you can take full damage if you fall too far, I haven't managed to do that yet, which is uh, both a blessing and a curse, because I don't know how far it is that I, I am allowed to fall. There we are. But, uh, you know, so yeah, there are limits and that sort of thing, and you can get upgrades and, and whatnot. Grab one of those and exit. As expected. And there are, like I say, there are all sorts of upgrades and stuff. We just go to our camp, we can see different characters that I can play with and different formulas that I can unlock. I can also get items that will help me out. That kind of stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, so that's if you want to spend some of the currency that you get through the game, then go for your life. Uh, so this is Puzzle to the Center of the Earth. It, uh, it's out very, very soon. And uh, it's going to be free. And um, it I've really, really been enjoying my time with it. I think it's a really good combination of a puzzle game and an action game. It gives dumb people like me the ability to play something that's a bit more action-y. I think that that's quite cool. And it gives smart people who like puzzle games the opportunity to flex their uh, intelligence muscles. Uh, so, yeah, 
There we are, puzzle to the center of the earth. This is Peter with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.